So this is a module on pre-recorded subtitling, which is um, a part of the uh, three um, uh, foundational uh, components. So a prerequisite um, before becoming a proficient uh, re-speaker, we think you should know something about um, subtitling. And uh, this is the module that is supposed to uh, teach you this. So um, what do we offer in the module? As with uh, any other module, uh, we have the teacher's guide uh, to those of you who are teachers and uh, want to learn about the learning outcomes. Uh, everything is there. Um, I think that the, the beauty of the uh, ESA course, um, answering to uh, Alina's uh, question as well, is that it can really be used by uh, teachers uh, who are tutors in subtitling and reading, etc. But it can also be used by independent learners. And then depending on what kind of skills you have had before joining the course, you can just uh, take whatever you need. Um, so here's what we have in the um, uh, module on pre-recorded subtitling. We first offer some introduction to subtitling. We uh, describe different types of subtitling. We, uh, talk about some fundamental um, constraints, temporal, special, the need to condense the text, all uh, those things. And then we move on to uh, actually teaching how to subtitle, how to uh, do the spotting, what to um, do uh, with um, uh, the text, etc. And then uh, we move on to um, uh, present subtitling um, as a profession. And finally, uh, we have um, one unit on subtitling for the deaf um, and the hard of hearing and uh, detail all the requirements that are specific to this particular um, type of um, uh, subtitling. Um, right, so um, we have um, a number of uh, different activities as Wojtek and Iris, they were already um, uh, presenting those different types. So I'll perhaps just jump in directly to um, an example of a video lecture. So we have uh, a number of video lectures, particularly at the beginning of the, of the module where we present the content, the knowledge, the different uh, things you need to know. And every video lecture is a film with uh, subtitles. And as um, Wojtek was uh, saying, on the right-hand side, you also have the transcript. And the good thing uh, about this is that you can download or it's a um, subtitling file. And um, this is interesting for tutors. Uh, all the video um, lectures also have handouts. That means basically that you can download the PowerPoint slides and you can, unlike the faces uh, here in the film, you can basically take the slides and uh, use them uh, for your own uh, teaching. So that's a, that's a nice thing, I guess. So after um, each video lecture, and there is a short quiz, and of course the, uh, there are some answers uh, there, so you can you can take it, you can you can use it. Um, we also offer a number of exercises on subtitling as well as discussion points, and we cover um, intralingual as well as interlingual subtitling, which we think is relevant to intra and interlingual re-speaking. Um, we uh, focus on pre-recorded, as I said, but we also introduce some practice for semi-live subtitling, uh, which I think is quite difficult to find normally in um, subtitling courses. And we have, uh, similarly to uh, re-speaking uh, modules, we have also divided the uh, subtitling module into three levels, starting from introductory through intermediate to some um, more advanced exercises. And I wanted to show you a few examples of these exercises now. So, uh, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, the, uh, somebody asked about the, um, <clears throat> uh, the software. Uh, you can take this course with any subtitling software uh, you uh, have or want to have. What we recommend is Easy Titles, which you can download a demo version. It's fully functional, up to 25 subtitles, and uh, we teach you how to, how to use it. But then you can also use other uh, software uh, that you want. For instance, in the... <clears throat> Subtitling exercises, uh, here I'm showing an example of an introductory level exercise. So we offer a clip uh, with an instruction. Here you're supposed to um, uh, 
correct the um, spotting errors in the clip. And uh, we offer a number of subtitling formats. So if you're using easy titles, you can take the easy titles format or SRT or uh, something else. Um, so you basically have um, a clip and a file that has been spotted. And if you look at the uh, audio wave at the bottom, you'll be able to see that these are really bad subtitles. So you're supposed to correct them. So that's the, um, the idea. Uh, another example, uh, this one is about correcting uh, line breaks. So if you have a look at these subtitles, the line breaks are really bad. So again, um, the task um, for the learner would be to um, uh, correct these. And uh, we also provide uh, the key in the form of, again, um, a number of different subtitling formats. So you can do it as a, um, as a tutor for your subtitling course. You can do it uh, yourself as an independent learner. Um, yes, uh, for uh, more advanced exercises, we also offer uh, some um, uh, exercises on um, shot changes uh, here again you have to correct the uh, shot changes um, the subtitles um, so that they are um, actually nicely um, <coughs> spotted to um, shot changes and uh, we also feature uh, two interviews with professional subtitlers um, uh, one with uh, Max Diryagin um, uh, from um, uh, Russia and uh, another uh, from Emily uh, Foss, who's president of the Audiovisual Translators um, Europe. So uh, although the course itself is not yet available, uh, what you can do, you can use the, um, you can go to ESA Project YouTube channel and you can find all these videos that I've been talking about and more uh, on our channel. They're there, they're subtitled, subtitled waiting for you um, uh, to use them. Um, so that's all for me. Uh, thank you and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Okay, thank you, Agnieszka. So for the link to the course, I can share a link to the YouTube. Okay, interesting. Thank you. So the link is in the chat box. All right. Any question? Good question. Yes, yeah. Any alternative for EZ titles? Uh, yes, of course, there's plenty of alternatives uh, and uh, in the course, I haven't shown it on the slide, but uh, we provide a whole list of uh, subtitling programs, starting with professional programs that you need to pay for, ending with um, programs that are freely available. So uh, there's a whole list of uh, programs that you can just click and go and download, um, both um, in the cloud and uh, PC-based, yes, so there's a whole uh, list of things, yes.